Good morning, YouTube. It's coming up to 20 past 11 on Sunday morning. And I'm making this video as a sort of personal tribute to the place that I've called home for the last five years. Um, it seems some ups and downs, believe me. But when I first saw this place, I fell in love with it. You know when you walk through a door and you think, I could live here. And there's a fair bit of living that's gone on here, I can tell you. A friend of mine once said, I bet you it looks like you're flat in the YMCA. And she's right, it does. But more than that, it reminds me of a flat that I once owned about probably getting on for 30 years ago now. Uh, the one and only property that I've actually owned. And I used to be so proud of that flat. I used to get the writing just like right. Uh, pictures on the walls, plants. And it was my home for seven years. And probably the best investment I've ever made in my life. And when I walked through the door here, that's what it reminded me of. I thought, I could restart everything all over again. And there's been some good times here and bad times here. But it's sort of full of memories. And I was made redundant about, I don't know, six weeks ago now. And that coincided with my father's very bad illness. And when the job came to an end and my dad came out of hospital, I took myself up to Blackpool for a week. Uh, I've been trying to get there on two previous occasions this year. And for one reason or another, got diverted. And I thought, now's my opportunity. And at the end of that week's holiday, I had another opportunity, the chance to start again. I was offered a flat that was half the price of this one. And so my limited resources would, would stretch twice as far. But when I came back to Cheltenham to supposedly close down this flat and go and see my dad, I realised that not only did I not want to leave my dad at the moment, but I really didn't want to leave this flat. I've started my life so many times over the years, for one reason or another. And sometimes that's been a place of my own and sometimes that's been living in hostel accommodation. And it always means dismantling a home or restarting a home. And when I got back here, I just felt that I wanted to stay. Now this place has been neglected really for the last two years. Um, the last time it really felt lived in was not long after I made the Professor video for YouTube. Uh, I got talking to a friend of mine that uh, originally lived at the YMCA and he was desperate for roof over his head and I was desperate for some sort of secondary income to come in here to keep it going. And it seemed like a good idea to to pool our resources, get both of our lives back on track. I'd left the YMCA and wasn't sure where the next step would go. Um, I think I got too involved in the politics rather than rather than keeping focused on why I really loved that job in the first place. And um, 
so we give it a go. But unfortunately, this is quite a small place. And we both wanted different things from life. And unfortunately, at the end of three months, it all went horribly wrong. And there was no additional income to this place at all. But I do remember one day one particular day, my lodger was living here and seemed to be quite happy at the time. And I'd met my friend Julia in town for breakfast. And we came back here for a spot of lunch, a bit more of a chin wag. And my brother turned up quite on the off chance. And this place was buzzing. I think I had more more chairs then than than I have now. I certainly needed them. Um, but I can remember just standing back and watching everybody interact with each other and feeling really peaceful and calm and happy, you know. And I think that day will always remain fixed in my memory as the happiest time. After, um, after my lodger left, things took a bit of a nosedive and the flat here has been neglected really now for the last two years. But I think the trip up to Blackpool was, was a bit of a wake up call but unfortunately time and resources and ideas are running out. And I probably next weekend have got to make a decision as to whether I hang on here or leave it. And I now know, I now know that whatever decision I come to, uh, I've got to stick with it this time. All this coming and going it just uh, confuses me, confuses other people. And my God, it does not get through the money. And I think uh, I wanted to make this video because if I do have to leave this coming weekend, then it's looking pretty good right now. Shame it might be a bit too late. But thanks to help from my mother and stepfather, I was able to buy another month month living here. And we set to earlier in the week on Wednesday and got the place repainted. Uh, the two lamps you see, uh, or you can see one now, <laughs> they're actually props from a local theatre group. Uh, happened to call over to a, to a neighbour, a friend over the road, who uh, wasn't particularly enamoured with them. Wondered if I'd like them, and I think they look really good. And the sofa there, well, I can't tell you the number of people that have slept on that sofa over the, over the last few years. Um, really used to annoy me. You know, I had a stock phrase. The living rooms are living in and the bedrooms are sleeping in. But I look at that um, <laughs> slightly grubby old sofa now, and it's sort of full of full of memories of the the people who stayed here overnight, um, and how nice it is to have someone else around. I don't know where this video is going. I just wanted a bit of a personal record. Uh, this is the place that I've made all my YouTube videos. Uh, <laughs> this place here is where I seem to sit for most of my days, looking at my laptop. And um, it's just meant a lot to me, being able to come home here 
uh, as a refuge from whatever goes on out there. And I'll be sad to go. So, anybody got any miracles? Let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.